This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our August 27th Palmer City Council meeting. And to start off with, I'd like to welcome our new Palmer City Manager, Stephen Jelly, who should be with us at that meeting. And we're also going to have a meet and greet for him at the Palmer Depot, August 28th from 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, so if you want to come by and meet him, that's on the 28th of uh, August. And then I also wanted to uh, give an update about the MPO, the Matsu Valley Planning for Transportation MPO. Uh, we've, at our last meeting, um, this last week, we had uh, quite a few documents that we approved. Uh, the Title VI plan was updated in May and then went out for a 71-day uh, public comment period. And so we approved that after that comment period. There is also a United Planning Work Program, which also went out for a 45-day public comment period. And that was approved at our August 20th um, MPO meeting. Other documents we worked on were uh, there was a social media policy. It also went out during that time for public comment, and we approved it at the August 20th meeting. A fiscal policy um, was also presented in May and then went out for comment, and then uh, we approved it at our August 20th meeting. The bylaws were amended. Uh, there were some recommendations from our consultant uh, group, and then uh, the technical committee also reviewed it. And uh, we then, it went out to comment, and then we approved it at our August 20th meeting as well. And there was also a conflict of interest policy certification. Uh, kind of the same process. The consultants helped us with that. We went out for public comment, and then we approved it at our August 20th meeting. And there's also a whistleblower policy. And these are all policies that are uh, good to have, but also required by the Fed's for the MPO on all this. And all these documents should be available at the mvpmpo.com uh, website. And for uh, agenda highlights for the meeting on the 27th, we've got minutes from previous meetings, which is like July 17th, July 18th special meetings, July 23rd regular meeting, August 6th special meeting. Uh, and then uh, during our meeting, we'll have uh, audit presentation for the 2023 audit from Joy Meringer. Uh, the managing partner of BDO USA. And then we have two public hearings. There's a resolution to allocate some funds, not more than 97,332 for rehabilitation of airport lighting and a resolution to appoint uh, election officials for the October 1 regular Palmer election. We also then have four action memoranda. Uh, one action memorandum is for the city manager to arrange for the purchase and delivery of 180 tons of road salt, uh, which shouldn't be more than $30,600. There's an action memorandum for authorized utility water connection outside the city limits for 12301 East Woodstock. And another action memorandum for the city manager to purchase a lawnmower for the golf course, no more than 18000 And an action memorandum for the city manager to issue a contract to perform additional demolition at the library to determine the full scope of structural damage um, and that's supposed to be no more than $44,844. And uh, yes, I find it very hard to believe that we're a year and a half since the collapse of the roof at the library, but we are still working with insurance on that. Anyway, so that's kind of a summary of what's coming up five days into the future for our August 27th Palmer City Council meeting. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor. See you five days into the future.